Hello and welcome to YouTube video presentation of this 2004 Fleetwood Bounder diesel pusher model 38N. My name is Chin. I'll repeat my name and a phone number again at the end of the video. Talk about this motorhome. So if you have any questions, give me a call. I'll prefer text. Let's start from the front of the motorhome. We're going to go around the exterior and then we're going to go in the interior talk about the features and benefits buying this motorhome versus other motorhomes. I understand there are lots of choices out there finding the motorhomes. Motorhomes are like a real estate, condition, condition, condition. Like a real estate says, location, location, location. So I have sometimes people call me, they say, hey, we'll have a motorhome, same year, we can find it half price. Yeah, they may need a lot of work. So start talking about this motorhome. It's excellent condition for his age. It's got a cover in the front, it's got a little body boo-boo right here. I'll just take a look at all my pictures. Windshields are free from any cracks. Has a very small star crack here. It's, it's a list in my fingertips. So I'd like to mention that. I take a lot of pictures of flaws if there are any. Uh, solid fiberglass body outside. No D-lamp, straight body. Got three slide outs. Tires are less than three years old. Take a look at them very close. No sidewall cracks, weather checking, good trades. Very deep trades. Got 48 or 49,000 miles. We've got a 7,500 Onan generator, diesel generator. You can hear it right now with about 1,100 hours. Uh, really good shape. I like the feature on a Fleetwood Bounder. The compartment, they slides out along with the slide. So a lot easier to access all the storage doors here rather than banding under the slide. Uh, as you can see, they all stay up on their own, so this air struts are in really good shape. Again, straight body, no D-lamb. Uh, decals are in overall good shape. It is an 11-year-old motorhome, but they don't look tattered up or cracked up or anything like that. Got a few more compartments here, so plenty of storage for your sewer hose. It's there. This is your wet bay. You have outside shower, city inlet, black tank flush. You've got a TV cable hookup, phone cable hookup for DSL or internet. All your discharge here. All the door shuts fine. Again, take a look at the tires. They're less than three year old, I believe. I'll, ha I'll have to find a date code, but you definitely do not need tires. Good tires, because again, as I mentioned, some of the modems, you can find them cheaper. You may need tires all the way around. This one, do not need any tires. It's got 2000 watts inverter. Those are the chassis batteries here, cranking batteries. In this compartment, there should be chassis battery or coach batteries. There are one, two, three, four, six volt batteries. By the way, we just had, that's an air filter you're looking at. I just had the uh, coach serviced at Speedco where they change all the filters, change the oil and engine, oil filters, fuel filters, lube the chassis, go in the front and do the same thing in the generator. It has a freshly changed oil and filters. Um, it's got 5,000 towing capacity, Reese type three hitch. Uh, it's a Cummings turbo diesel. I believe it's around 330. Or 300 horse, I'm not sure, but it's got plenty of punch. And this coach is known for giving you excellent gas mileage or diesel fuel, fuel mileage. 10 gallon hot water heater, it's a DSI, that stands for direct spark ignition. So when you want to go, and it also has electric too, electric and gas, you just flip a button and it comes on with the LP gas. Or if you're camping in a, a campground with a 50 amp plugged in or 30 amp plugged in, then you will have a electric part of the heater would keep your water hot. Um, by the way, it's got a electric, uh, automatic levelers. What automatic levelers means, you turn the system on, hit the button once on auto, and it takes the gas work out of your head. You don't have to push any more buttons. It just uh, level the coach itself. This is where you could put a spare tire if you'd like. I recommend folks to just get a AAA or Good Sam Club Emergency Road Service. If you're gonna have a tire issue or you're stuck somewhere on the road, just call them. You're not gonna attempt to change a tire on this 22 and a half wheel base. We have electric awning. I've got a little remote right here. 
I can close it from here as you can see in this video. So when you're camping out here or tailgating, you can open and shut uh, as well as the entrance awning is up front. More compartment doors here. It's got plenty of storage. Take a look at the body. It's in excellent shape for, for his age. I mean, if you want to go ahead and buff it and polish it, you can even get more shine out of it. But it looks good as it is. Over here, we have a three more compartment doors, and one of them has outside entertainment. By the way, this coach has completely, uh, all the older TVs have been replaced with the LED, LCD, HD TV. This thing, what I think it slides out, I believe. I don't know how that exactly worked, but you have a CD player uh, along with, uh, yep, it's got a USB or iTunes hookup, so you got speakers here. Uh, no one has CDs nowadays. I don't know. There are a few folks still have them. I guess they're old school, but it has a uh, iTunes or, or your Pandera, whatever, you know, uh, music you want to play with your uh, phones, you can play there. Got a TV out here, out here as well. It's got three slide outs, as you will see inside. It's, in, it's got lots of, lots of room. And it's only 38, 39 feet long. Again, this is a entrance door. I can close that and open it too, just from this little remote control. Very handy feature. No tuggling, chuggling with those uh, older coaches have those, and I have some of those. All right, let's step in this motorhome. As usual, I always take my shoes off right around here. And this is a great feature. It has a little linoleum, look like a tile type of a design, but it's a linoleum. I'll shut the door behind you. Come on in. Take a look at this. Black steel passenger and driver seats. Um, I'll put this here right now. Here on a cockpit area. This uh, motorhome has a tilt, just like cars, and then telescopic, so it goes up and down, so you can adjust the way you want it. Let's crank this baby up. It's a diesel pusher, so you kind of wait for instrumentation control uh, panel to come on, and wait to start light comes on, but this bin already can't crank one, so we didn't see the light. Fire right up, 49,000 miles. It was just recently driven uh, about 800 miles down to South Carolina. Backup monitor, you've got, uh, these are really neat, you have uh, sun visors. You don't have to go reach up there and try to get them down. Take a look at this. Even has a one in the middle. So uh, really nice feature with just push up a button. Passenger has a one button there uh, for whoever's riding in a passenger seat. They can do it, control theirs. Um, LCD TV, it looks like a 37 inch, it's a big TV. Uh, has a DVD player, VCR, you can easily add Blu-ray player if you like to. Um, I don't know if he's got a dome dish on top or not, but uh, please take a look at all my pictures. But it does have an amplified antenna for, to catch local channels. Um, it, it must have had it because I see uh, some kind of a receiver remote control here. Over here, back down the here, it's got an air horn. Sounds really good. Uh, got a air suspension, so when you lower the coach, you can lower it with this button going left. I'm not going to do it right now because I've got jacks down. Uh, this is your uh, power gear leveling control. It's got an auto button here, if you could come up close and show them. Uh, so it is an automatic. It is not just a regular uh, leveler. It's got automatic levelers, and that's an extra feature. It costs extra money. you got a heated mirrors, power mirrors on both sides, emergency brakes. Six-speed Allison rather than a four-speed, so six-speed Allison. You got exhaust brake or retarders, what they call, or engine brakes. Uh, boost button, fans. It's got a, two fans up here, so you know if you're going down to Florida with a 105 degrees out there in summer, and you got air conditioning running in the coach, you want some fan breeze, it'll bro blow it from there. So that does it here. Got power seats on the both side. That's another nice feature to have. You got some cup holders. This Fleetwood, they design it pretty well. They think of everything, you know, have a drink holder. I got another one here, so you want a coffee and a cold, or you got two drink holders for driver and two drink holders for passenger. You've got a 
110 plug-in. Also got some uh, uh, 12 volt plug-in for a phone charger and one here. So you got two of those for his and her cell phone number. Really thoughtful there. And seats are in great condition. As you can see, no tears or tattered. I mean, it's just really good condition. Uh, carpet is in excellent condition. By the way, this coach has no smell of any type. No pad odor or smoke odor or mildew odor. Really good condition coach. You got small sofa here. It opens up. No, it doesn't. Okay. This is a fixed sofa. Um, could have child sleep in there, but it's not a big enough. This one right here, it's a jackknife. No, it's a full full bed. It'll, it'll open up almost here. So you'll have a full, almost a full size or queen size bed. Um, really nice woodwork. I like this darker, darker cherry looking um, wood, wooden cabinet. We, we have a booth dinette that you don't get that lot in the class A diesels. A lot of time all you see is a couple of chairs and nothing wrong with them, but this would allow more uh, people to sleep in here. So that will fold down, become a bed. That's a bed. So four people can sleep here, one child over there on that small sofa, and they got two in the back. So it'll sleep easily five, six, maybe seven. Uh, kitchen consists of a Korean countertops, a GE Profile Space Maker oven, three burner gas stoves, very clean, and a traditional oven. Again, a lot of diesel pushers don't have traditional oven. They just have a convection oven. My personal motorhome is it like that. And I tell you what, I like this regular oven too. Oh, lots of cabinetry space up above here, here, over here, all over here. And you got some slide out pantry for canned goods. So they thought of it a lot of storage. They've used almost every spaces. Four door refrigerator, rather than a two-door ice maker. I'm going to leave them open. Let's see. Uh, oh, there are some more drawers under here. And I believe there may be seat bills. Please check it again all with my pictures. Oh, there goes a microwave dish. I was looking for it. And also the other sink cover. It's a dual big sinks. That's neat right here. All right, let's step in the center part of the coach where we have a washer dryer combo, some cabinet up, up, up above. By the way, this thing has, uh, I believe, a little over 100 gallon water capacity. 95 gallons, I'm sorry, 95 gallon water, fresh water capacity. That's really good. You have a private toilet and has some cabinets in front. Over here is a deep one, very deep. Got some more cabinets here, magazine rack, a fan up above, and it's a china. And this, this door opens up if you wanted to just completely have a privacy to the back. It's got a lock mechanism back here that'll just, well, it's a magnet, I think. It, a uh, magnet holds it up. So if you want it, complete privacy back here. And then, and you can still open up this. And this is a shower with a little corner sitting area. Uh, I'm six feet tall, and I'll tell you what, it's still a lot of room because people have a question a lot of time. People are six, four, see if they can fit in there or not. I get that question all the time, so uh, lots of room here. A uh, sink, a medicine cabinet, plenty of storage and drawers. Again, I can reiterate the carpet and interior, the floor is in great condition. No stains that I see anything besides just a normal wear. Uh, got a sliding door to completely privatize the uh, be bedroom or if you have a complete privacy. Nice little counter space if you use it for vanity or not. A little vibration noise I can hear because the engine is running right under here. That'll put you to sleep. <laughs> uh, lots of little neat feature for, uh, uh, you know, underwear, t-shirts and all that. So he's got some four or five drawers live on each and every one of them. 
that's your cloth hamper right here. Some drawers here, another LCD TV, uh, and it comes in and out, so it'll come out like that. Or you can push it back and lock it in a place. Back in the back, we have a coat closet. It's pretty wide, so you know, imagine your dresses and coats, they won't touch each, each wall. All the books and records are here. So we've got a plenty of books and records, along with what I mentioned earlier, it's just been serviced. I have an RV tech with a 40 plus years of experience um, repairing and maintaining the motorhomes. He'll go through this coach or you could hire him for a pre-delivery walkthrough. And uh, it's really highly recommended if you'd like to do that. But the coach would be handed to you and the keys that you'd go straight from here and go camp. It's got day and night shades, one and two. Nice bed. Let's see what's under the bed. Got a little bit of a storage room there. So slide in the bedroom. Well, this is about to conclude our video presentation on this 2004 Fleetwood Bounder model 38N as a Nancy. Three slide out, 49,000 miles, 1100 hours on diesel generator. Everything works as it's supposed to be automatic levelers. LCD TVs, upgraded TVs, uh, no issues, uh, good tires, uh, turnkey. It's going to be a great mud home. If you're looking for something that you want to just start camping this summer, give me a call or I prefer text 864-404-0054. The number again is 864-404-0054 or you could call if you're in Canada want to use my toll free number, call me at 888-352-2316. That's 888 888-352-2316. Three five two two three one six. Thank you so much for watching my video and look forward to earning your business. Have a great day.